Oh, thanks. What are you reading? Oh, it's about careers. Well, we're a library now, are we? Hello, Ted. Want a coffee? Yeah, coffee, yeah. What are you doing here? We've got a study period either side of dinner. Did you know that Tiffany was back? Uh, yeah, she's living at Tony's. What? Oh, look, don't get upset, Dad. I mean, at least they're back as a family now. <coughs> <laughs> well, I know you don't like Tiffany, but you've got to have some sympathy for her. Why? Because you do. You've got to care what happens to people. Oh, yeah. What's that for? Does your caring include Ricky Butcher, then? Ricky? Yeah, he's a divorced man. He's a lot older than you, and he's engaged to be married to someone else. <laughs> you know what really hurts? Is that with all you know about me, you could still make that sort of remark. What do you mean, all I know? I'm a Christian, Dad, and Christians don't do that sort of thing. All I'm saying is, if you're going to go around there, don't give them a hard time. I'm not going to. I'll think very carefully before saying a word. See you later, love. Okay, bye. Hiya. Uh, one round of ham and one round of cheese steak out, please, Blossom. Right. Do you want anything? No, Tom. Come on. You've got to keep your strength up. What for? Whenever I'm strong, Grant just knocks me back down again. Oh, then you're not the woman I thought you were. You were? Well, who's more important to you, Grant or the baby? I mean, if they were side by side in a burning room, which one would you say first? Don't be daft. Yeah, but it don't make any difference just because the baby ain't born yet. You need everything you've got for her, and you can't let Grant take that away. I can't help it, Simon. So, mean, every time I see him... Then don't see him. Ignore him. You're worth ten of him, and that baby's worth a million, whoever's it is. You're terrific, you know that. Yeah, I do as it happens. <laughs> but seriously, Tiff, you've got to sort your priorities out. Me and Tony are here to help. I know you are. There's a great and difficult task ahead, and we've all got to pull together. I'll be pushing, not pulling. So we'll all push together then, OK? Simon, sandwiches are ready. See ya. See ya. So, uh, how'd you get on then? Yeah, not bad. Not the most exciting jobs in the world, but we seem to get on OK. Oh, great. When will you know? Sometime in the next couple of days, I said. Oh, hello. Well, can I come in, then? That's all right. I know Tiffany's here. What can we do for you? Hello, Mr. Eels. Got some nerve, haven't you? Oh, come on, Dad. I didn't know you were going to... What do you expect me to do? Break open a bottle of champagne? Tiffany's living here, Mr. Eels. Look, I'm sorry if you've uh, got a problem with that, but at the end of the day, it hasn't really got anything to do with you. You? Mind your own business. What's your game, eh? Spot the dad, mug of the year, eh? It's better than being bully of the year. It's not like that, Dad. And even if it was, Simon's right. It's got nothing to do with you. And what's it got to do with him? Can't I say anything without everyone sticking their oar in? No. Not in my house. Dad, Simon and Tiff, they're my family. I'm your family? Yeah. As well. Why can't you just be normal? <laughs> There's not too much to ask, is it? All you want is for your kids to live a normal, happy life. Why do they have to make things so difficult for themselves? <laughs> because they can. Do you want another half? Yeah. Uh, don't rush. I'll get you a clean glass. Well, I would if there was one. Do you think you could check the machine's got washing-up stuff in it before you switch it on? Sorry, I thought I had. 